Uh, hello everyone. So uh, today we will take a look at how uh, can you take this uh, Amba AXI transaction analysis assessment. So uh, uh, so this the test will appear like this, and let's say you click on the take test. So I've already done that, and it will open another window uh, like this for you. Uh, the uh, what you need to notice over here is there are two tabs. There's a questions tab where you will be able to see the various questions. And then uh, there is a tables tab where you will be able to see two tables. Uh, the first table is a AXI uh, transaction table. And uh, AXI transaction table essentially contains the high level, uh, you know, uh, AXI accesses either issued uh, by a software or by a sequence in your test bench. So it's like a high level uh, that has been uh, generated. Let's uh, quickly look at the column. So a transaction count column uh, tells you uh, the unique uh, transaction ID and then type tells you whether it's a read write and action tells you when a particular transaction has uh, started and completed and uh, address tells you to uh, the, the address for which the transaction has been issued. The length is length in bytes. It's not uh, encoded. Uh, data is, uh, if it is a right transaction, what data is being written. Timestamp is, of course, when it has started or when it has completed. So you can uh, find out how long it has taken to execute. So essentially over here, this is uh, something that's not spec defined, but it's rather a high level stimulus information that is present over here that you can uh, find it in the AXI transaction table. Now in this, uh, test we have uh, transaction and write so you can use this shortcut or you can scroll down and you come down to this uh, AXI write table. Now if you look at AXI write table this uh, shows the information about uh, what has happened on the three channels of uh, uh, AXI that is AW channel your uh, address uh, uh, channel and uh, B the data channel and the W where the right uh, response channel. What has happened on each of these uh, channels? You can find it out using this uh, AXI write uh, table. And the uh, the uh, the so the the rest of the columns are like as per spec defined. Like for example, AW ID, AW address, AW length, AW size, AW burst. Uh, these are these are these are these are uh, the uh, these are the fields that uh, that that the spec has defined and uh, so whenever you are looking at a row which uh, indicates channel as aw then the aw fields will be valid and whenever you are looking at a channel that 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 indicates w then the w id uh, w data w strobe and w last fields will be valid although the rest of the fields are present they may not contain really a valid information and of course when you are looking at a channel of the type b uh, then the BID and uh, B response uh, information will be valid. And for all the transactions, you'll be able to see the timestamp when it is initiated and when it is accepted. Uh, initiated is a timestamp where the valid has been asserted and accepted is a timestamp when the corresponding uh, ready comes in. Um, so that is the information that is contained in the uh, AXI write uh, uh, table. Now this tables behave uh, very similar to like a Excel. So think of this as a, uh, uh, you know, individual filter. So now I can click on a particular transaction uh, count. Like for example, let's say I click on nine and it shows me uh, for the transaction uh, nine, what has happened on these three channels. So let's go to the uh, transaction, uh, AXI transaction table as well. And let's select the uh, uh, transaction 9 here you can scroll and select the transaction 9 now a transaction 9 uh, is a write that is uh, taking place to address hex 1000 and uh, the transaction length is 2 bytes and this is the data 00 and 01 is being written so now if we see here uh, this is a burst that is starting to that particular address and um, uh, you know the transaction id aw id is being 8 uh, now, if I go to uh, W channel, uh, I can use the right arrow key after clicking on the row to scroll towards the right. And uh, you can see that the W ID is being 8. W data, we can see that it is 100. Uh, strobe is 3, indicating that it is uh, 2 bytes. And now if I go to uh, 
the uh, response uh, channel i can see that the bid is matching 8 and the response is being okay uh, now if you want to see these in a bigger screen you can click on this particular uh, 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 button and it will show you uh, the uh, show the information in in a full screen mode uh, making it much easier for your analysis and uh, when you want to come back to the questions you can again click back uh, uh, on the similar button on the same button and uh, you will come back to the original uh, uh, original screen um, now there are few more points i just wanted to help you understand uh, in terms of its usage uh, now once you have selected a particular value that value is highlighted and that particular column has uh, you know has been colored in an orange color indicating that this particular column uh, is filtered you can filter multiple uh, columns as well to clear a filtering for a particular column you can just click on the empty entry at the top and that will clear the filtering for that particular column or if you want to clear for multiple columns at one uh, click you can just click on the clear uh, filter all that will clear uh, for all the uh, uh, filters that you have applied across uh, multiple uh, columns and uh, in order for you to complete this test uh, this information is sufficient along with this you need to know probably one more so let's say that now uh, here we can see that uh, like you know the transactions of different length have been issued now i want to see how many uh, transactions have been issued for every length so what i will do is let me say i will filter it for completed so these are all the transactions that are completed uh, so now i can see that uh, i have uh, i am able to see about uh, 64 this is the total count 64 is the number of uh, transactions that it is showing as completed out of that 50 is being displayed over here now what i'm going to do is i want to find out the frequency like for example i can see that there are multiple transactions of uh, the length one have been issued so i want to count of it so what i can do is i can just go to column analysis uh, tab over here and then i will select the transaction length field and i'll just say cover and i'll click on the submit and i can also sort over here by the value and i can see that the length of one there are eight transactions that have been issued uh, I, I can alternatively just double check that by coming over here and if I click on one uh, then I can see that I am getting eight uh, transactions. So this way you can perform uh, the simple filtering and some level of column analysis to do the uh, counting of the frequency of occurrence of the values and then once you have understood this information you come back to the questions and then answer uh, the specific uh, question like for example here when they say uh, the transaction count 49 when you come back to the table so what you need to do is you need to scroll over here and then select the transaction uh, count 49 uh, to be able to understand what's happening over there uh, and a similar thing you can come over here and do the transaction count as uh, 49 uh, to understand what has happened on the channels and using this information you come back to the questions tab and answer a specific uh, select a particular option and after you complete the test of course you go ahead and uh, submit it so this is the way uh, you can uh, do the transaction analysis and then based on that analysis you can answer the uh, questions